we all know tomorrow is new comic book day. So what are you guys picking up tomorrow? Dan, what's on your list? Um, well, actually, I'm really looking forward to Orphan and the Five Beasts, issue four. Um, the series is excellent. It's drawn with so much enthusiasm and love of the craft. And it hasn't been coming out super regularly. So there's been these kind of gaps between issues. However, this is such Who, a worthwhile series. Who's putting it out? Uh, Dark Horse, actually. Dark Horse, okay. Um, and and then I guess I'm just going to pick another one, though, too. And Step by Bloody Step from Image, yes. which I think looks very good, very promising. Um, yeah, it looks like um, a giant robot, right? Gigantor. It's more like Gigantor. It, 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 instead of... Because uh, we've been getting the giant robot, like people as giant robot, Voltron kind of thing, and yeah, a lot uh, of Kaiju whatever, stuff. Ultron. But this is more Gigantor and like a little person... Boy in a robot, giant, ro- iron giant kind of thing. Yeah. Um, iron giant was what I was thinking of. I think those stories are a little, they're not as played out right now. Because <laughs> yeah. everyone's doing the giant monster robot Kaiju, shit too. Kaiju, post-apocalyptic. Man, it just like went James from Aaron nothing thing. to everybody's doing it. James anyway. Heron did, did a cover for it that I, I like. It just kind of fits that whole, talking about Kaiju, the ultra mega. It's the... And there's a Jacques cover too. That it, it's very Tezuka or Sama Tezuka or whatever that guy that Jap. It's it's very. I feel it's very inspired by that Japanese guy. Um, That's a crazy Jacques cover. That's a yeah. Jock. It doesn't seem like very Jacques Jock ish. Itch Jock itch. <laughs> ish. T- boom! Tough acting to act. <laughs> Moment, of silence. James James Aaron. Aaron cover. Moment of silence. Like, it's man. nothing. It's, <laughs> it's like James Heron. Good stuff. You any more? Or you? Uh, no, that's those are the big ones. I mean, there's there's keys and stuff, but I'm sure you guys all have other picks. There, you know. What was the first book you said? Uh, Orphan and the Five Beasts. Where is that? Am I missing that? It's there on right the left. There. Yeah. It's okay. just, um, man, it's truly like loving right comics. James St- Stoko or something. But wow. you cannot, That's every cool. page is like tons of detail, tons of love of the craft. It's Jeff Darrow style. It's a comic creator's comic kind of, yeah. That cover is dope oh the series is excellent i can't wait for the trade i'm gonna be buying the trade for a lot of it's like over the top ultra violent ridiculous absurdist it's great oh there's no variants or anything yeah no variants either oh wow look at number one beautiful oh man you guys never read it you never heard of this nope oh it's been so much fun um that guy's named thunder thighs (laughs) And he sm- he like explodes your body between his thighs. He catches you between his thighs and he looks like Zangief. <laughs> yeah, that Zangief from Bad Guy. <laughs> I used to know. Oh. All right, Ryan, what are you getting? So I was looking because I couldn't. Uh, I guess there's a so there's a there is a Carnage uh, Forever coming out, but I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm going to hit that up or not. If Venom's in it, then I will. Uh, they got a bunch of covers coming out for that. I think there's a box to a comic box coming out for that as well. Um, there's a, a Del Auto short box. Mm. Oh, well, yeah, that's cool. Looks like we just saw that a few months ago. Yeah, well, we did. Say, Both you, things are getting looking the same. Well, I, I'm sure that's not new art. Yeah, and that's um, and then um, they have some second prints of uh, Venom 2 and 3. I thought they had already come out, but like apparently I come out this week and there's a, a, a Hulk second print as well. Um, but as far as anything like, Oh, silver surfer rebirth mm. uh, to getting that and checking that. See what the number two, that one's about. Um, there was a, there's a couple of cool covers on that too. The rebirth. There's a big, there's like a, right down a second row. You're about to come to it. That's a mm. homage cover. And then that, there's, a, there's like a green uh, 
Re uh, X Gwen. None of these are these are so stupid because I don't see Gwen here. All I see is Polaris, right? Like I don't know why they did these covers. They're also doing like Carnage covers throughout the, the, the week too. Yeah. Uh, That's a cool one. That looks cool right there, doesn't it? Yeah. I think Silver Surfer is one of is one of my favorite. I mean, he is one of my favorite characters. I think he's so cool. Ooh, this is an exclusive, but it's badass. Oh, the old 80s star yeah. Marvel frame. The photo <laughs> variants, or not photo variants, but the frame. 25th anniversary variants, yeah. Oh. Love it. It's got the Kirby dots and crackle behind it. Yeah. It's awesome. Very good. Cool. Yeah. Well, I've. I, uh, you got any more? That's it. I've got uh, I've got a couple. I've got um, the best one by far that everybody should pick up: the Pimp Daddy Destro mm -hmm. GI Joe two eighty nine John Jang variant. It is an exclusive, but it is freaking awesome. Was it East Side Comics or something like that? Yeah, and then there is a, uh, a Zerdy Clan McDonald exclusive of uh, Baroness. That's nice, and then there's also a. Rip uh, Krill Reppin variant for Baroness that's really nice. The Zerdy um, one reminds me a lot of the um, Art Germ and Hughes. Art Germ did one that's very similar to that. Yeah. Dang, that's but, cool. Yeah. The John Jiang Pimp Daddy Destro is so awesome. They call it Big Daddy Destro, obviously. But um, and then there's this Deathstroke Inc. number six cover Ooh. buy for me, just all all around cover I buy. I like the, um, the Ivan Tao yeah. cover uh, as well. That right one here, right there. The cardstock, yeah. That's nice. Whoa. There's a lot of Destro stuff going on this week. There's this book. There's the Robin book that uh, he's a big part of. And then there's the Joker one where he gets the Joker serum. So, But then there's a Sosa Mica, uh, 1 in 25, cover C for Catwoman 40. That's really nice. And then finally, Strange Academy 16, which is awesome just regular cover that's such yeah. a cool cover i saw um teen titans academy's ending yep and they revealed who red x was <laughs> yeah. you want to know who it is it's brick it's, it's fucking brick <laughs> who's brick Brick. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a there's a second there's a second red x too yeah, what the hell is going on, dude? It's so weird. <laughs> and then we find out like Brick may be like uh, Nightwing son. son, like but he's not Nightwing's son, and then you gotta huh? find out who lied to him. <laughs> yeah, like it's so weird. Like DC is just DC uh, like it's so weird um how messed up DC is where they can take a character like Red X and you're already set up like they put the ball on a T for them with that character <laughs> being Damien, right? And they, they couldn't even hit that ball. They couldn't even hit a ball on a tee. It's like Jesus Christ. So, anyways, what about you, uh, Andy? Oh boy, if you guys had to take a long shot of a guess here, Saga oh. Fifty Six mm. is out tomorrow, Same and way. this heartbreaking cover here. Spoilers for anybody that hasn't read. This is quite the heartbreaking cover. Very interested to see what goes down here. I know there was a, some spoilers thrown around a little bit on social media somewhere. I think there was like a preview. I stayed far. Oh, no. If you subscribe to Brian K. Vaughn Substack, um, the draft one, I, I forget exactly what it's called. They actually put out a little bit of a spoiler, and I made sure to stay far away from it. So those of you out there that have seen this might know more than me at the moment, but this will be the book that I will read. I will walk right up to the shelf, and I will stand in my LCS and read it at the shelf, and then I'll buy it. Looks like a and then I'll read it again video. in my truck, and I'll read it again when I get home. And this is this is a series that I'll buy a couple copies and uh, try to continue to work on a graded run of this for the personal collection. Um, mm. And I don't feel like it's going to be hard finding copies. Uh, 55 was very plentiful. 56 is going to be pretty plentiful. I'm looking forward to it. That's and the only book. I'm, I'm solely focused on this. Berserker's out tomorrow. I'm excited to read that too, but my main focus is on Saga. Yeah, has, has it been everything you wanted it to be? Yeah, yo, yeah. Saga I guess the is LCS is having the like an end cap of, of this issue, and and for good reason. It's a, it's a great read. I'm sorry, that's cool, dude. That, that, that it's something that you really, that you dig that much, and it's like it's all it's you know when it's that good. This makes me wish I had Wednesdays off again. Like back in the day, 
Uh, I was able to go to my LCS when they first opened up at 10 o'clock. This is that issue that's going to be out every month that makes me wish I had that day off. I can tell you what it's like not to have that happen. <laughs> Venom. <laughs> Yeah, years ago when I had a job that wasn't as busy, I would take like a two-hour lunch and <laughs> go to the comic book store, get my books, go next door, eat pizza, come back. Like, as long as I'm back before our 2 o'clock team lead meeting, I'm good. Those days <laughs> nice. are long gone. Yeah, the good old days. Good old days. Just a mean and no harm. Yeah. You got anything, uh, Brian? Yeah, most of mine. I mean, you guys brought up a lot of great books. Um a lot of mine are reader picks. Of course, one of the big ones tomorrow, Ghost Rider number one. Mm-hmm. Yes. A um, lot, of, lot of great covers for that. So if you like covers, there's definitely plenty to pick from. Um, really I like just like the... regular cover A myself. Holy yeah, crap. the cover A is beautiful, man. Awesome. There's something you supposed to be weird happened with Johnny Blaze in this. So. Yeah, they're like, it's like changing them up. Or... This one's really cool, too. The uh, Scotty Young one is really. I do cool. like the Scotty Young one. I'm not a big yes. baby variant, but yes. Oh, I'm I wish surprised I that, those. that 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 uh, Crane for the style that he likes to do. I'm surprised he doesn't do like a thousand covers of this. Yeah. I wish oh wait, right, we'll play right there in the middle. Up to two, two more. The blinds. I this think that's cool. an homage of a '90s cover from Ghost Rider. It's cool. It is an homage of some type, yeah. Or a movie. A Spider-Man. There's a Spider-Man cover like that. Did you see this one? The Ultimate Comics exclusive? Another. Ooh, so this is a theme with Marvel this month. Mm. Well, that ex- those exclusives, yeah. Yeah. Um, another reader pick, image book, um, still liking Two Moons. So I'm going oh. to pick up the new Two Moons tomorrow. Um, Sticking to that. I like, yeah, I like war history and horror <laughs> so that's been a good read for me um some great covers on that one too issue 10 already wow yeah and then uh cover picks i still love what adam hughes the cover is on black widow new black widow tomorrow same but with Electra. That's what I was getting to next was that black, white, and blood number two, that negative space Adam Hughes. Th- to me, that's a gorgeous cover. But, yeah, it doesn't get yeah. much better than that. I'm still waiting for that head middle drummer to come out too. You know, they never came out. The what? Heavy metal oh, drummer, no. the behemoth. It still hasn't come out? No. Jesus. Mm. Oh, that was supposed to be last week, wasn't it? And the and week before. This week. Yeah, yeah. So I, mean, I called. I called Brian trying to find it. So now, I'm, now I got my LCS has it hooked up. So, oh, that sucks, man. Everybody's waiting for it too, man. They're they're missing their uh, their chance. Yeah, they're gonna be. It's gonna be black mask all over. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So. So yeah, some great books tomorrow. Where are you guys picking up? Let us know in the chat. Let us know in the comments. Um, I have not been able to hit new comic book day on a Wednesday though, for like a month. I usually get there like Saturday, but third eye comics, so they hold all my books for me. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. 